So continuing with our uh, journey through Cork City, we're now standing in Fitzgerald's Park, one of Cork's lovely uh, public amenities, delightful park here, uh, located in the west of the city, just next to the huge Mardike Sports Complex. I'm here with my wife and we're coming here today to check out the Cork Public Museum and specifically the uh, permanent exhibition regarding the Cork Jewish community that, um, that basically came to the city roughly in the late 19th century. A lot of the founding members came from uh, Lithuania and uh, this uh, museum here is a permanent exhibit tells the story of the community including my late grandfather Fred Rosal Alava Shalom. I think my bar mitzvah uh, skull cap yarmulke features in the exhibit and uh, nowadays the Cork Synagogue closed its doors a few years ago was formally deconsecrated and there's now a church there on South Terrace um, but when the Jewish community was at its peak around the 1940s 50s there was several hundred families and then of course in 1948 with the establishment of the State of Israel uh, a lot of the Jewish community moved to places where there was richer Jewish life the US, Israel, the UK etc. I left Cork, I grew up in Cork, um, came to the city when I was about 11, had my bar mitzvah in the synagogue, the former synagogue in Cork City and left myself in 2015 to move to Israel. I currently live in Jerusalem so I'm just back visiting here. So this exhibit plays a very important role in preserving the memory of the Cork Jewish congregation. There are still some Jews in Cork and the surrounding county, they formed a new breakaway uh, community. Uh, but in terms of the former synagogue, the fixed synagogue that was here, kosher food, there really isn't a whole lot of Jewish life in the city. And, uh, exhibit here plays an important role in preserving the history of that former uh, congregation. So we're here now in the part of the Cork Public Museum dedicated to preserving the history of Cork's Jewish population. Their permanent exhibition is called The Tsar, The Rosals and The Music Shop. The Tsar is in reference to the Russian Tsar and when he instituted or decreed conscription that prompted a lot of the Jews living in uh, Lithuania, Old Russia and Russia itself to look for new places to live and some of them came to Cork. There's an apocry some people say it's an apocryphal story, I'm not sure anyone knows that when some of these Jews were travelling west looking for the US, when they heard Cork, Cork, they thought it was New York because they didn't speak English. And that's how, um, according to whether it's legend or truth, no one seems to be really sure, um, some of the Jewish population arrived here. So in this exhibit, uh, that's the Tsar, the Rosals refers to um, my grandfather Fred Rosal who preserved um, kept the Jewish community going for a number of years as well as his father Harry Rosal. There's included here a lot of exhibits from the former uh, Cork Synagogue on South Terrace which as I mentioned closed its doors a few years ago. You can see the um, eternal lights here, My uh, the menorah that used to be in our house, a, a Torah scroll from the synagogue and other artifacts are on exhibit here to teach people a little bit about the uh, customs and traditions of the Jewish population.